Good morning and happy Friday, everyone. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for August 11th, 2023. Well, yesterday was quite the roller coaster ride, wasn't it? We shot up in the Dow well over 400 points and then ended up giving it all up. By the end of the day, well, I shouldn't say all of it. We held on to some small gains here on, at the end of the day. So we left behind kind of an interesting pattern here. When you see um, shooting star patterns like this, you typically see a follow through to the downside. But that may not be the case today because we have some data that could inspire the market. So, well, what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. Well, looking at the diamonds in this shooting star type pattern, um, typically you want that shooting star to be at a higher high. But boy, one of the things we can certainly say about yesterday was it was incredibly volatile. If we take a look um, at a 15 minute chart of yesterday, shooting up on that CPI data, which honestly was a little bit confusing to me how folks were seeing that as a really good number. Yes, we're seeing um, just a very modest decline in the inflation rate, but it seems like it's really sticky to me, like we're not moving um, strongly enough. In fact, I would, I would go so far as to say that that number suggests that we're flat, that we're not getting enough work done. But that being said, a lot of volatility in yesterday's move, big whipsaws, big, um, uh, big swings um, in the diamonds. So looking at the chart here for today, if um, you can, whoops, let's go to the daily. How about we do that? Looking at this chart, you can certainly see that volatility shown in the price action of that chart. And if the um, bulls find inspiration today, well, then I'm going to suggest we retest that resistance here in the chart and see if we can push on up through there. If we are unable to do that, if the bears um, find inspiration today, well, I'm going to look for a retest of this low down here. Now, unfortunately, these are big swings in price action. If you can see our top up here yesterday from our low down here just earlier in the week is um, over, well, getting close to 600 points. So big potential swings are uh, possible in the market, but I'm going to be looking at those two levels in here to see whether or not we can breach through the up side or the downside in the diamonds. If we were to take a look at our moving averages, you can see with our moving averages, we're still a long ways away from the 50 day moving average and more of a rest or pullback eventually does seem like a possibility unless we just slide into a tightening, a tightening consolidation, allowing that 50 to catch up. Let's take a look at our spy. Now, SPY it's had a little bit of struggle here. Obviously, we've seen some of the big tech uh, giants feeling a little bit of sell pressure here, um, relieving some of that overbought pressure. And yesterday, we rallied up on that CPI number. and We found this price resistance up here and once again left behind quite a little bit of volatility and a little bit of a shooting star type pattern in that chart chart but we're really in more of a consolidation area of the market so that shooting star really not as important as you would normally see um, if it was at a top of a pattern but looking across here you can see our support level down in here and i kind of suspect there's a really good chance we're going to test this level down here if you notice yesterday we also um, came very, very close uh, to pushing down to that 50 day moving average. So if we were to press down into there, that's going to be a full test, I think, of that 50 day. So watch carefully for that potential. But once again, if the bulls can find inspiration, we'll look for a retest up here 
bears find inspiration a test down here and of course if this one were to fail because we're kind of close to this one if that were to fail then the next level is right down here in that spy chart if we take a look at our qqq same thing occurred here in the nasdaq but maybe not near uh not quite the um, enthusiasm that we saw in other indexes you can see that downtrend certainly um hanging in there on that QQQ and watching this you can see we've got our resistance up here that I talked about yesterday that place where we could find that resistance so we came very very close to testing that and then we reversed uh, back to the downside so this morning I'm going to say if those bulls really find some inspiration here today first thing we need to do is test this level can we get back up through that level because that is a fairly significant resistance in the chart and if we can push through there then once again we'll look for a retest of that resistance right there in the chart if the bears find more inspiration here I'm thinking a possibility that we come down and test this little level of price support here um, and if that were to fail um, then we come on down into this level of the chart. Now, one good thing that the um, QQQ has going for it is that we're hanging right there on that 50-day moving average. So that 50-day moving average could help us find support right here in this area. Watch that carefully and closely. Let's take a look at our Russell. Boy, the IWM. Well, kind of struggled in there yesterday. We shot up like all the other indexes in here. We shot up and we tested this resistance in here. Found that resistance and immediately reversed, pushing back down in that chart. And then um, you can see I had talked about if that were to fail, look for support in this area. And that's just about exactly where we ended up holding yesterday. Um, bouncing up just a little bit at the end of the day. So if the bulls were to find inspiration today, I'm once again, I'm gonna push us right back up there for that next level of um, resistance test to see if we can break through and kind of slide out from that little downtrend area in the chart. If the bears uh, find inspiration and continue to push this lower, well, you can kind of see where we, we would likely go, probably down here to test this level in the chart. And just keep in mind that if we were to do that, that's good, probably good, likely going to be a test of that 50-day moving average. And that could provide the support we need for a little bit of a relief rally bounce. Let's take a look at our uh, T. Whoops, we better look at our VIX here first. Um, our VIX, well, we've got that complication going on here in that chart. If you'll notice, there's that downtrend break. And as I've always said, um, um, we break the downtrend if we hold the higher low that's where uh, real fear could come into the market and that volatility that we saw yesterday doesn't give me a whole lot of confidence over all that we're going to do that but if you um, notice we came down here and we tested this area here and then bounced off of that so if we were to use something like that for the potential of an upside trend if those bears were to find inspiration in here start pushing this up it's where I think fear could really start to come in the market and we might see a little bit more downside if that were to occur. But because we have those 50 day moving averages right in that area and we've pulled back into that area, I still can't rule out that possibility that if we can find that bullish inspiration here in the market that we could continue to pull this back in um in that chart if the bear uh, excuse me if the bulls continue to engage here let's take a look at our t2122 our t2122 certainly has relieved an awful lot of the overbought pressure that we've been experiencing here in the market and yesterday when we got really excited um, after that cpi we had pushed up all the way up into here and then gave that all up in the day pushing us back down. So if the bulls find inspiration, we have certainly opened a substantial upside opportunity if we can find that energy in the market. 
if the bears find inspiration well you can see we may be reaching down here and we have not been down here for some time um, we lingered up here for such a long period of time stretching those indexes pretty heavily and you can see um, uh, that certainly could be a possibility the way the chart is set up here today and remember t2122 doesn't tell us the direction of the market it really just um, helps us highlight when we're in overbought areas and oversold areas so we can prepare for those reversals let's take a look at our t2108 t2108 the percentage of stocks above the 40-day moving average here as you can see um certainly pulled back yesterday and we've got some price support in here um holding on just slipped below 50 percent of the stocks above their 40 a day moving average so we've relieved a lot of that overbought pressure here in the market and we do have a good little price support area in this chart so if we find some bullish inspiration this would be a really good level to be able to bounce off of to the upside of course if we do bounce up we want to watch for a potential lower high in here and that's where um, things could get a little bit ugly but if you'll notice right across here there's a, a an upside trend and there might be some reason here the diamonds holds on or that not the, the diamonds but the indexes hold on and hold that support in that area if the bears were to come in well clearly you can see the situation here if we were to break this support level things get a little bit more serious here and that'll be breaking that upside trend in the chart um, let's take a look at our t2107 now t2107 we have already given up that upside trend here this is the percentage of stocks above the 200 day moving average we kind of gave up that trend but it's not so bad here if you'll notice pulling back 52 percent of the stocks above their 200 day moving average so it's not terrible and if you look across here we've got some pretty decent price support in that chart so if we were to push back or push down a little bit more that might give us that opportunity to bounce off of that support level in the chart once again i don't think it gets real serious here in the market unless we start giving uh, that area up in uh, t2107 i gotta tell you though one of the things that's um, concerning me in the market is even with the wild volatility that we saw yesterday, um, buyers heavy um, in some times of the market, sellers heavy in some times of, uh, of the market yesterday. Look at the market breadth. Boy, we are just not gaining any ground here in market breadth. And it's, it's not a normal situation to be seeing this kind of price movement up and down and have breadth so weak so i'm not exactly sure what that means but what i'd like to see is i'd like to see that breadth come up and i don't know if that breadth is, is going to come up on the bullish side or on the bearish side of the market but certainly we need to get something going here because we're kind of languishing here um, overall at a very low level so um, interesting that all of that volatility yesterday didn't inspire uh, much more breadth so watch that closely if we take a look at our economic calendar here for today our economic calendar we've got a few things that we'll want to be paying attention to and obviously something i've been talking about already and that's going to be that ppi number now the ppi number the consensus estimate on this is not as rosy as the consensus estimate was for um, the CPI number. And as you can see, consensus is looking for us to increase month over month from 0.1 to a 0.2, the year over year from 0.1 to a 0.7, the month over month X food and energy 0.1 to a 0.2, the only thing that we show as a decline is the year over year, which is a 2.4 to a 2.3. But with these numbers going up, that might be a little bit of a stretch. So let's watch that closely here. It could be an interesting number today, and it may well um, find um, inspiration for both the bulls and bears, whether we can get um, that excitement going or not heading into this weekend. Then um, after that, we're going to have our uh, consumer sentiment numbers. Consumer sentiment has been um, struggling in here. It has been moving up, 
but struggling and you can see what the consensus is su suggesting is that it actually declines. One of the reasons that might be the case is even though our CPI number is showing that inflation is modestly declining, well, where the consumers are are concerned, it's not helping them out because food and food costs went up. As a matter of fact, food costs are up 23% since the beginning of the pandemic. Um, energy prices are up. And so those metrics, you know, insurance costs are up. Those metrics are not helping out the consumer and still running that consumer into some major issues as we continue to push credit card debt to new record highs. So we'll want to watch that pretty carefully here. Um, consumers may not be all that happy overall. Could be start, starting to show us that our economy is continuing that weakening process here. Now let's take a look at our um, um, earnings calendar for today. And I'll tell you what, our earnings calendar, there's not much out there for notable reports. As a matter of fact, the only one I'm gonna bring up here today for a potential notable is SPB. A lot of the stocks reporting earnings today are very, very small cap, um, sub $3 type stocks. Um, unlikely to move the market around. So keep an eye on SPB as kind of the only notable for today. So how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you can please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you can do me that favor, that would be click that thumbs up button leave that brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow and thank you so much um, I have I've been mentioning that even sharing an emoji there helps to show that engagement with uh, the video so um, thank you I've noticed a little bit of an increase there folks um, responding to the video that helps the YouTube algorithm show the videos to more folks and helps the channel to continue to grow. So thank you very much. I do truly, truly appreciate it for all the help and support. And, you know, just a big shout out to those folks who share this video out on their social media feed. And then also um, those folks who um, help the channel out by uh, the Buy Me a Coffee link just below the title of the video, supporting it that way. Thank you very, very much. Let's take a look at a few charts that could be setting up. And remember, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You need to do your own due diligence. Be very, very careful here um, in the market and try not to over trade because we, we may be running into just a little bit of a funky period here in the market. And these whipsaws are probably showing you that danger that um, is kind of creeping into things. First off, let's take a look at um, some of of the builder uh, supply areas in the, in the market. Uh, Home Depot, this is a beautiful little chart setup. Been running up in a trend and you can see consolidating over. We had that pull back in here. And what I like about it is we pop back up and now we're holding in this area. So watch that carefully in here. If um, Home De Depot can find those buyers, there may be some good upside potential. I mentioned this uh, BLDR. BLDR the other day also continuing in this beautiful upside trend just really nice and smooth uh, to the upside and that's resting back over here to the trend look for that next opportunity uh, for that to push on higher and you can see this kind of thing going on in a lot of the builder stocks out here now Masco is another one of those builder supply type companies and it's been moving up in a trend but there is a pattern up here that I am a little bit concerned about on Masco you can see we've got this head and shoulders pattern that's kind of forming here in the chart what we don't want to see is we don't want to see that breaking the neckline of that trend coming back to the trend is a great thing but let's see if we can get that fired back up and move back to the upside here. So watch that closely in Masco. Um, take a look at ZIM. Now ZIM, I was watching this for a potential alert um, in that chart because I really like the way this bottom was forming in the chart. And this is gonna report on 816 and that may really mess this thing up quite a bit. And what I'm seeing is that we're consolidating here and resting and maybe coming back to 
that longer term trend. So watch that carefully in here. If this can hold in this area, there may be some upside opportunity coming. So watch that carefully in uh, ZIM. Boy, I gotta tell you, um, pretty, pretty impressive chart here in GE. This continues to run to the upside. Now, we do have some resistance over here in the chart. I'm gonna go to a weekly. You can see a lot of congestion through that area and even more congestion just above that. But I still think there is that possibility that we may get that opportunity for this to pop into this zone and move right on up into this level of the chart. So keep an eye on that. And when we talk about industrials, boy, I think you kind of have to talk about uh, Boeing. Boeing has made a nice move here. Um, I want you to notice we're breaking into some next resistance levels, but holding up nicely. If I were to take a trend line right up through here, it may require a bit more rest or consolidation in here for Boeing to continue moving to the upside, but I keep a pretty close eye on that. And other industrials like Caterpillar have been um, kind of showing huge strength uh, pushing through. And you'll notice Caterpillar is at all time highs here in the market. I'm gonna to go to a weekly so you can see all time highs here, just really stretching to the upside. Now, if we were to follow this trend in the chart, it may be getting close for that next upside opportunity. One thing I would have to say after such a steep rally, I couldn't rule out the possibility that this could have to rest a little bit longer, but keep an eye on that, looking pretty darn good. Boy, places like um, in the credit card area have been holding up pretty well also. Take a look at Visa. Visa, obviously, credit card debts hit new record highs, and one of the things that we're seeing in the Fed data is that defaults are starting to come up. If we start to see jobless claims uh, moving higher, um, watch some of those job uh, default levels here in the chart. But right now, Visa is holding in here nice. I'd keep an eye on this to see if that rests out here to trend and look for that next opportunity to the upside there. A um, couple places um, out here that um, was looking really good and now struggling just a bit. Lift, struggling with this resistance level in the chart. We broke through it, we're just not hanging on to it quite so strongly, but notice the volatility in the last three days on this. Big pop up, complete reversal, complete reversal on the next day. So watch that carefully. If we hold in this area, bounce back up and hold, there may be that opportunity that that higher low comes back in here and we break this little downtrend that's been going on in lift and we may be able to see some of that upside in the chart. I wanna to continue to remind everyone to be a little bit watchful here what's going on in the US dollar. Um, one of the things we have going on this morning is our bond yields are going up this morning pretty sharply. That is also strengthening the dollar. So keep an eye on that as that dollar continues to strengthen. Anything in that commodity sector may struggle. Um, with the exception of oil, my goodness, oil just continues to go to the upside. And that's not a good thing for the Fed. That's not a good thing for our inflation. So watch that carefully as oil continues to extend. This is XLE, the energy ETF. And the reason I'm showing you this is this beautiful break of this um, resistance area in the chart. Now, if this were to consolidate and rest back, I'd look for that next opportunity to the upside. And you could certainly look through those there's a lot of energy stocks in here looking very very good so keep a close eye on those so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day I want to wish you great results in your trading and also want to wish everyone a wonderful weekend with your you and your family hope you have a great weekend we'll see you right back here bright and early monday morning I want to wish you all the best have an awesome awesome day